We're here at Orton Plantation where two very large and unique restoration projects are underway. One is the rice field restoration and also the longleaf pine restoration that's happening on the uplands. The rice field restoration is comprised of 320 acres of rice fields and an 800 acre freshwater reserve system, namely at Orton Pond. We've been working very closely with the Army Corps of Engineers, the Division of Coastal Management, Division of Water Quality, and we have now got the permit that's going to allow us to restore these fields. We're standing on the front dike revetment of the Orton rice fields. This separates the rice fields of Orton Plantation from the Cape Fear River. It also protects them from the salt water, whereas this is a freshwater management system. We have over 300 acres of fields and within them, the quarter drains and the half drains and the rim ditches have to be maintained and brought back to their original contour so that the water management within the field works properly. Seeing the work here at Orton Plantation really brings right out to the fore the importance of that partnership, getting government and citizens and business working together to, to work on landscapes like this. The longleaf pine restoration on the property is a very large project. It comprises the entire property, which is over 8,000 acres. A major component of our longleaf restoration is our red cockade woodpeckers, an endangered species that we have on the property. Through diligent work over the past several months with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the North Carolina Wildlife Resource Commission, we have been able to formulate the Safe Harbor Agreement, which is a management plan to where landowners, state agencies, and endangered species can all thrive. Part of the restoration efforts here was to mark these trees for management reasons, thin the timber around these colonies, and also to bring the mid-story of vegetative growth back down to ground level by using prescribed fire and other thinning methods initially. This creates foraging habitat for these birds, and the fire also produces legumes and other flowering plants, which produces insects, and that's what these birds eat and depend on. The leadership that Lewis Bacon has provided really means a lot to conservation. It's really setting a model for the future of conservation because we need that partnership between government and private citizens to really make wildlife conservation work into the future. What we're doing right now is extremely important for the restoration of this plantation for the next 300 years. The property had been degraded to an all-time low as far as habitat and historical value. But the restoration process that we are embarking on right now is at a critical point to be able to save that, restore it, and preserve it for the future.